This is how to crochet the Tunisian double stitch. I am going to start with the third chain from the hook. I'm going to twist my chain forward and work into the back bump. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the third back bump from the hook, then I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two. So that's the beginning of a double crochet, but I'm not going to finish it. I'm just going to yarn over and insert my hook into the next back bump. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two. I'll do that into every single chain going across. And then here I pull through two, but it's actually better if you pull through one first to finish that first stitch and then pull through the second because I noticed it kind of gives it a little bit more of a slip stitch appearance. But again, art is subjective. You can do whichever one you prefer. In row two, I'll show you what it looks like when you pull through one first versus pulling through two first. I really hope you know what I'm talking about. But if you need help with Tunisian crochet, just the basic single stitch, I have that video on my page. If you have any questions about this stitch or an, any other stitch, you can leave that in the comments of any of my videos. I used to teach crochet in person, so I'm very much used to troubleshooting projects for people or different techniques. So here's that gap I was talking about. So this time I'm going to yarn over and pull through one before I yarn over and pull through two. I personally don't really like the gap and you might not either. So I just wanted to show you what both look like, but that's it. Let me know if you want to see another Tunisian stitch.